Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Uh, so I'll just get straight to the point. Uh, us content creators go through phases, at least I do, where I can produce a lot of content for you guys and I have ideas and whatnot. And some other times I just can't come up with anything and I'm not one that will make videos just for the sake of it. Never have, never will be. Um, or I just don't have time or patience. And lately it has been those last two. So I have no time and very little patience to, to do videos. And it's a bit contradictory because I'm making a video right here, right? But it's some sort of goodbye, see you in a bit type of video. But before I go, I wanted to show you other sports photography channels that I follow where you will find a lot of useful content. Uh, maybe you will have seen, I'd be surprised if you don't know these channels, but in case you don't, um, I'm going to show you some of them and you can check them out and check plenty, plenty of hours uh, of videos that they have specifically for sports photography. Okay, so I'm going to start off in no particular order uh, with Rob Sambles from the UK. He's actually one of the first people that I did a collaboration with on my channel about two years ago or so, time flies. Um, but Rob has been on YouTube forever, really. He is probably one of the oldest uh, sports photography channels on YouTube. And one thing I, I like about his channel is that he, he touches upon a lot of different subjects, including the ones you'd consider boring, such as insurance, for example, which is something that's very, very important if you want to take it seriously, you want to go pro. Uh, it's just mandatory, right? And it's hard to see channels talking about those boring videos like those boring subjects uh, I don't find them boring because they're important uh, but yeah you'll find all sorts of content related to sports photography in Rob's channel he has as you can see 336 videos uh, as of right now at the time of this recording and over 20,000 subscribers so he's been in this game so to speak forever so good channel to follow then we move on to Mark Curtin also from the UK uh, I have also made some collaborations on my channel with him. Those were fun uh, videos where we both edited the same picture that people submitted to us and then we check and compare the results. Um, but yeah, lately he has been uh, making a type of video that I really appreciate, which is he goes to a football match, you know, he does all, all the work that he needs to do, but then he goes and backtracks it. So he starts from the first picture until the last and he explains the story behind it why he's taking this picture he shows you the settings uh, he talks about what happened uh, during the game so you can see how the day of a photographer is in one of those matches so this new series that he's been having lately is really really interesting obviously he has a lot more content on his youtube channel actually not just about sports photography he has a little bit about landscapes as well uh, aviation etc but I think the vast majority of people that follow him appreciate his sports photography the most, or at least I do, um, and lots of football. So you like if you like that stuff, settings, uh, seeing the behind the scenes, the vlogs, etc. Great channel uh, to follow as well. And to finish it off with UK channels, uh, Talru Film and Photo. Uh, that's Richard. That's behind uh, this channel. Uh, he has a lot of videos. Um, talking about photo mechanic, for example, which is very important. You can see uh, vlogs as well, where he, he shows you how he works um, during a football match, studio work, uh, talks about used lenses, used market, different types of lenses, etc. So a lot of football in this channel. So if you're into football, then really good channel uh, to follow as well. Then we move on to some American channels. Uh, I'll start off with Jack. Uh, Jack is an icon shooter. Uh, I'm a Canon shooter, so therein lies the difference. The big difference is that you can find videos here that talk about Nikon settings, which I wouldn't be able to do. So, you know, there you go. Nikon Z9 menu settings for sports, Nikon Z9 for sports, etc. All sorts of Nikon related um, videos. Obviously, he also has videos about sports that I don't get the opportunity to photograph such as baseball, American football, etc., and other uh, videos as well. So good channel to follow as well. And one final channel uh, from the US uh, from Paul Rutherford. His videos are different than the normal sports photography channels. I think it's because of 
his personality and his take on uh, on the video making side of things. It's very straight to the point, which I really, really appreciate. There's a lot of uh, photography channels or, or channels out there in general that add a lot of fluff to the videos, right? There's just too much, like you, you're watching those videos and you're like, come on, get on with it. And Paul gets straight to the point. I mean, like this one, for example, photographing Fenway, where he shows you his day during a, a baseball match is just phenomenal. It's only two minutes and 55 seconds, but the amount of editing he had to do to, to you know, compress it into such a, a short amount of time in a video is just amazing. He also has other videos where he puts a mic on himself and he shows you the behind the scenes when he's photographing a game. In this case, it's a football match or soccer. Uh, this one is hockey match so it's very interesting i think his videos are quite different to the norm i suppose in a good way um he also shoots the nba regularly and baseball so very very interesting guy to follow as well and to wrap it up just a few generic ones uh adorama uh, just for if you're starting out in photography this is a really good channel because it, it will explain you the basics of photography like what's the exposure triangle uh, it gets into a lot of detail in, you know, the aperture, the shutter speed, everything, everything to do with lighting, uh, with camera settings, etc. And two particular presenters I would like to call out here. One is Gavin Hoey. His tutorials are just amazing. And the other one is David Bergman. So these two, and there's a lot more here, but these two are the ones that I like the most. And to wrap it up, uh, just one final channel uh gordon lang for camera reviews and lens re lens reviews uh this is a channel that i really like uh, he, he reviews pretty much every single brand not just canon so if you're into checking out what the new camera lens um, performs like or the new camera he probably was one of the few uh, selected people to test out those lenses or those cameras uh, before they came out so you'll have fresh content as soon as those lenses and, and cameras come out so good channel to follow as well and that's it for today guys uh, like I said it's not a goodbye forever it's maybe a you know see you later see you in a week maybe in a week I'll change my mind maybe in a month maybe next year I don't know uh, I just think that uh, it's wise to stop when you're not having fun so right now I just need a pause and until next time take it easy guys and stay safe.